So in this video, we are going to talk about using Venn diagrams to represent sets, subsets, and set operations. So first is I'm going to show you how to represent a set or sets using Venn diagram. So for example, we have a, a universal set. It's the set of whole numbers. Those are numbers from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. So there are infinitely many whole numbers. And let's have another set, which is coming from the universal set. Let's name it set A, which is composed of the elements 0, 5, 10, 15, 20. And let's name the second set a set B, which is composed of the elements 2, 4, 6, and 8. And another set, let's name it set C, which is composed of the elements 1, 3, 7, 19, 23, and 31. Now, I'm going to show you how to create a Venn diagram out of these sets. So, let, uh, first is we're going to create a rectangle that represents the universal set. So, you just have to imagine that this rectangle is filled with the whole numbers, all the whole numbers within this rectangle. So I didn't put any number there because there are infinitely many whole numbers and it's hard for us to put all those numbers uh, inside this small rectangle. So now we are going to create a Venn diagram. So basically it's just a circle that represents a set. And then we're going to put the elements there of the set A, which are 0, 5, 10, 15, 20. So since it's inside the rectangle, that means it's also part of the, of the universal set. And obviously, it's part of the whole numbers. Then we're going to make another uh, set, I, I mean circle, for set B. So that's another Venn diagram, which is uh, with the elements 2, 4, 6, and 8. So again, it's part of the universal set because it's inside the rectangle. And then set C, we have uh, the elements 1, 3, 7, 19, 23, and 31. So as you can see, the circles are not overlapping because they don't have the same elements. If there are elements which are the same with the other set then the Venn diagram or the circles must overlap and you have to put uh, in between them that element that is common and I'm going to show you that later. So next is we are going to talk about a representing subset using Venn diagram. So we are going to have uh, the same universal set, which is set of whole numbers. And then we will have another set, which is set A. Of course, that's part of the universal set. 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and 35. And another set, set B, which is 5, uh, 15, 30. Those are the elements of the set B. And as you observe, set B, the elements of set B, 5, 15, and 30, are also can be found in the set A. 5, 15, and 30 are, still, are also there. It's members of the set A. So that means this set B is a subset of set A. Now, how are we going to illustrate that using a Venn diagram? So first is we're going to do the same put the universal set rectangle that represents a set of whole numbers. Then we are going to put the, the A, the set A, because it's bigger, it, it has more elements. So we're going to put all the elements there, uh, 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and 35. So that is the set A, which is also part of the universal set, set of whole numbers. And then, the set B, so as you can see, it's the elements are 5, 15, 30, it's here. And that is the set B, which is actually inside the set A. 
that means set B is a subset of set A. So it's like set B is just a part or a portion of set A. Next is we are going to talk about representing set operations using Venn diagrams. So we're going to start with the union, representing union using Venn diagram. So we're going to use the same universal set. Basically, I, I think it's all examples that I have prepared. It's going to be the same set, uh, I mean universal set, set of whole numbers. But the sets under that will be uh, some are different. So we have set A, with which is actually the same, almost the same or the same with the first one. 0, 5, 10, 15, and the set B is 1, 5, 12. So I'm not sure if it's exactly the same with the first example. Now we are going to find the uh, union using the Venn diagram, and we are going to write the answer later. So let us illustrate first the universal set, and then we are going to put the set A, which is having the the elements 0, 5, 10, and 15. So those elements are in the set A. And then we're going to have the set B, the Venn diagram for set B, where it has 1, 5. 5 is already in the set A, so we can just overlap the diagram of set B, so including that 5 and then 12. So we don't have and we should not repeat the same element. So what you will do is just overlap the diagrams and put in between the elements that is common. Okay, so here we are after of union, meaning you are going to unite them or combine them. So the union of A and B will be this. The whole blue color is the A union B. So all the elements within this blue uh, 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 blue color diagram will be the elements of A union B. So it's just simply a combination of set A and set B, except that you are going to write only once what is common to them. If there are two fives, you just put one five only. So the A union B will be 0, 5, 10, 15. That is the set A. And for set B, 1, 12, because 5 is already in set A. So you might wonder, why is it not arranged in order? In sets, it's okay that the, set, the, the elements are not arranged in order. As long as it's complete, it's correct that, that the A union B is having all the elements of A and B. So the arrangement won't matter. So next is we're going to discuss how to represent intersection using Venn diagram. So we're going to use the same universal set, a set of whole numbers, and we'll have the set A as 0, 5, 10, 15. So I guess it's going to be the same example like the previous one and for set b it's 1 5 and 12. then we are going to create the venn diagram so we're going to start with the rectangle representing the whole numbers which is the universal set and then we're going to draw the set a diagram so it's composed of 0 5 10 and 15 and then for set b diagram which is composed of 1, 5, and 12, and 5 is already repeated, so we will just overlap the two circles. And then where is the intersection? So it's actually here in between the, 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 uh, the two sets A and B. So that is the intersection of the two sets. So that means A intersection B is equal to 5. So next is I'm going to show you how to represent complement of a set using Venn diagram. 
So we are going to use the same universal set, a set of whole numbers. And then the set A will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And we're going to find the complement of this set, the complement of A. So let's illustrate first the universal set using a rectangle. And then we are going to put the set A, the diagram of set A, which is having the elements 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now, where is the complement of A? So by the way, what is the complement of A? It's all the elements in the universal set except for set A. So it's like the opposite of set A. So the complement of A or AC is here outside the set A. So all those filled with blue are part of the complement of A, which are infinitely many whole numbers. So these are the complement of A. So what are those elements? So let's have some few examples because there are infinitely many and we cannot list them all. So that's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 are not included because it is like the complement of A is like the opposite of the set A. Meaning all the elements of the universal set except for the those elements inside the set A. So we have 78, 212. So those are just some examples but there are still infinitely many whole numbers within that rectangle. So let's put now the, the complement of A, which is composed of 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and so on. So next is I'm going to show you how to represent the last set operation, which is the set difference using Venn diagram. So let's have the same universal set, set of whole numbers, and then we have the set A, we will use 0, 5, 10, and 15. And then we'll have the set B, which is 1, 5, and 12. Then we are going to find the set dif difference of A and B, or A minus B. Or sometimes you can read it as a relative complement. So it's B relative complement uh, with respect to A. Although it's going to be longer, so just read it as A minus B. B. It's a set difference. So now let's illustrate it using a Venn diagram so we will know the A minus B uh, set. So let's have the universal set and then I'm uh, going to create a Venn diagram for the set A with the elements 0, 5, 10, 15. And then for set B, so as you can see the B is at uh, a 5 is common to two sets. So we will overlap the set A and B and put the common element, which is 5, in between them. And then we're going to put the, the remaining elements for set B1 and 12. So you have to keep in mind that you should avoid repeating the elements. Next is we're going to find now the set difference. So the A minus B it means it's all the sets in A minus what is common with B. So it's this. So it's meaning it's the elements that is exclusively in set A. That is not the same with the set B. So that's the meaning of the set difference for uh, set operations. So this is now the A minus B. So what is now the set difference element? So it's here, 0, 10, and 15. Thanks for watching and I hope you have learned from this video. Please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section.